So she wants me to get some wood so we can have a romantic dinner. I'm digging it, baby. I'm digging it. <laughs> I'm sorry. What's up, Cage Ragers? This is KJ48, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play for Green Hell. All right, guys, Green Hell is a sweltering struggle for survival in the Amazon rainforest. It will be on Steam. It's coming out tomorrow. I don't know what the price is going to be yet, so we'll have to check back tomorrow. It is an early access game, so just keep that in mind if you decide to purchase it. And um, honestly, guys, I played this game for about a half hour, and it kind of reminds me, and this is a very simplified explanation, kind of reminds me of The Forest, okay? Let's get started, man. I can't wait to play this game. All right, survival. We're going to go with normal mode. All right, I've got a game already. We're going to go ahead and start. Is there any way to tell which? Well, I guess I can tell by the date which game is which. I don't know if I can delete that save, but obviously I'm going to start new because um, well, you guys want to see new, right? Of course you do. Day one. Oh, here we go. <coughs> Climbing up a rope. Man, that really reminds me of the forest. Okay, um... The lady down there is talking to me, but I had to mute the I had to mute the audio in the beginning of the game. So let me go ahead into the audio and turn it back up. I think I want it about there. We'll mess around with that as we play. Are you sure? Yes. Is everything all right? There she goes. Yeah. You can come up. Um you do know you have the walkie-talkie, right? Well, aren't you such a smarty? All right, so hold down T to talk on the walkie-talkie, and then you could choose what you want to say. You can come up. Just go ahead. Mm -hmm. I need to find something in, in my backpack. Okay. Um, yeah, let's ask what. That's a, that seems like a natural question. Um, what exactly? The gear should already be at the camp. You will know when the time comes. Ooh, that's ominous. Very well. You can catch up, yes? The path leads through that canyon. Mm-hmm. I know. Okay, so we just came in on a canoe, and I came up here, and she's going to stay down there and fish for something in the backpack. Um... Oh, uh, have you tied down the boat? Si. Jake, um... <laughs> I know this might sound stupid under the circumstances, um, but I am glad we came back here. Yeah, I feel you. Yeah, the place is beautiful. Still? Still, we can't forget what we came here for in the first place, I know. But as soon as we're settled in, I am off to the Yabakaka village. The Yabakaka village? Damn it, I... I... What if they will not... <laughs> Come on, let's not get ahead of ourselves. You're a phenomenal interpreter. If anyone can communicate with them, it's you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Good thing I have an anthropologist at hand, Dr. Higgins. Okay. Um, okay, so the birds are kind of loud. Uh, the splash, the, the beginning screen was kind of loud with the music. I'm going to mess around with the... Um, with the sound a little bit here, I think we could turn it up a little bit more because I think we could barely hear her. I could barely hear her, so let's turn that up a little bit more and we'll stick with it there. Okay. All right, guys, let's check this out. One thing that one thing the guy is right about, this, this game is beautiful. I mean, this is just like... This is like early access indie survival game, but like with a real, real polish and shine. Um, I'm pretty... I'm pretty amazed with the graphics. Now, uh, I don't know a lot about this game. Like I said, I only played like a half hour. Oh, what's over here? But you did see that I could mess around with the stones. You could either pick it up or you could right-click and craft. Can I pick this one up? Okay, so I could pick that stone up right away. The big stones, you pick them up and you put them in your hands. So that's why um, I just crafted that last one. You can hold down the right mouse button to expand and you can craft or harvest. All right, so it doesn't look like there's too much over here. Let's come on down this way. Um, I can't sprint yet, which is kind of weird. I should be able to sprint right now, but I guess not. So let's come on down right here. All uh, right. If you look right here, we do have a bag, and the bag's got all different kinds of inventory spots. This is like the main inventory spot with all my stones. We've got, I guess that's for rope. I guess there's a little rope goes around here or something. Maybe some sticks, I think, go up here. Um, that's the bag bag. This is where the tools go. You can put the tools on the other side of your bag. Um, this is where you put food, I guess. This looks like a little side pocket. I really like this backpack. This backpack is really cool. Like, it's got all these little side pockets and stuff. I want to get one of these in real life, man. That's, 
That's legit, dude. I really like that. And then uh, on the side, I guess you have places for sticks for the fire, I I'm guessing. So let's get going. Uh, on the bottom left-hand side, it looks like we do have a sanity meter, the little head. Um, I don't know if that's what it is, but that's what I'm guessing. Uh, the little plus thing is my health. And then we have two stamina bars. Um, I'm assuming one is stamina for when you sprint, and maybe the other one is for, like, um, like your tiredness gauge or, you know, whatever. Maybe you have to sleep after a certain amount of time. Fatigue, I guess, would be the word I'm looking for. And uh, this game is just... Ugh. I don't use this word often. I don't use this word often, but this game is kind of gorgeous. You know, that's really the only word I can think of to describe it. Okay. So I know one thing I can craft right away. I guess I'll mess around with that right now. If you go to expand and go to craft, you can put that right on there. And I think you put another one over there. And you can craft. And that makes you like a little, um, what, are the, what is it called? Stone blade. And I'm going to put that as number four. Because I'm, I'm hoping I, I'm not going to be using that that much. I don't know if there's any way to save the game. Um, skip tutorial. Oh, this is a tutorial. Okay, cool. Cool. These are the days survived, traveled, vomited. <laughs> I hope that, I hope this vomited one doesn't go up too high. Um, we do have a load game options and quit. So, I, I like the tutorial. I like the I, I played the tutorial a little bit, and it's pretty cool for a tutorial. Oh, and there's some sounds. All right, so we got a tent here. It looks like uh, it's kind of half set up. So let's see. Uh, oh, I found the tent, lady. Okay. I found the tent. Is everything all right? Spacious interior, luxurious cots, not all that fancy. Oh, and there's a dirt floor. As long as it doesn't leak, I am fine with it. A dirt floor. Soul Trail always delivers. At first glance, it looks like we have everything we might need. Perfecto. Perfect. Perfecto. <laughs> I love her accent. She's awesome. She's freaking awesome. Well, that's everything. We're officially <sighs> settled in. You know what that means, don't you? I remember the agreement, but maybe you should... Maybe we should reconsider this. I'm not sure it's the best idea for you to visit them alone. Cariño, you know I have to do this. It's the only way to make them talk. Oh, don't worry. It'll be all right. Better pick up some wood. Let's have a romantic dinner. Romantic canned beans. <laughs> Use your imagination. So she wants me to get some wood so we can have a romantic dinner. I'm digging it, baby. I'm digging it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, by the way, I love this. Look at these um look at these solar panels. That's so cool, right? They just come in these little containers, very easy to use. And they've got the wire coming in here. This is really nice. This is really nice. And there's some batteries for it. And uh, that's powering all the lights and anything else in here. This is a really nice tent. This is a really nice tent. I've lived in houses that weren't this nice. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and grab this machete. And uh, we're going to put that... Oh, number one sounds good. And we need to get some wood. All right. Oh, there's machetes all over the place. All right. There might be sticks on the ground, but I'm going to chop down trees because I can. <gasps> or can I? Hmm, maybe I can't do that one. I'm not sure. Let's come over to this one. Pretty sure I can chop this one down. Yeah, look at me chopping it down like a boss. He's gonna ruin the machete. This is a, machetes aren't really used to chop down big trees like that, but that's okay. All right, so we got some logs, so I'm gonna go ahead and bring some logs over here. Drop that one. I don't know if you can you carry more than one log, like like uh, the forest or where's the third? I thought there was a third piece in here. Oh, got a stick. I'm going to see if I can clear out some of the jungle, because uh, this is what machetes are for, when there's, like, heavy stuff in here. Kind of clear this out so you can see what you're doing. Um, can I clear... Oh, okay, so you can clear a lot of this out. Wow. That's cool. I like that. Well, I would like to be able to clear out most of the, um, most of the plants and stuff. Yeah, you can. You can clear out most of the plants. That's really cool. I like that. I like that, because if I'm going to build a resort here, like in the forest, I'm going to be able to do that. All right, so let's go ahead and chop this thing up, and we're going to grab some of these sticks. And then we're going to chop this one up as well. Come on, chop it. Chop it! Oh, that's a plank. Okay, never mind. Uh, we'll chop these sticks, and then they'll go down into little sticks. And we're going to need the little sticks as well. Okay. Come on. Come on, bro. Really? Huh. Okay. I wonder if we could craft those down to little sticks in our inventory. So let's take a look. Um, okay, so this is where we keep the sticks. 
uh, craft. And it doesn't seem like we can do anything with it. Maybe we can put the machete in there, like, or this, and that'll signify... Yeah, I don't know. I guess not. I was hoping I could break up the sticks in my inventory, but it doesn't look like I can. All right, so we got to make a fire. Let's go ahead and make a fire. So we got to hold down C and go to notebook. Huh. Huh. Every time he gets out the notebook, he goes, huh. All right, so there we go. We got the fire, and I'll put this right over. That looks like a log you'd sit on, so let's put the fire right there. And it's going to need some sticks, more small Honey, sticks. I can't seem to find a bag or two. Are you sure you brought everything? Yeah, everything the porters left. Why? Is anything missing? I'm not sure yet. Uh, but it feels that way. I love that voice actress. She's really good. All right. There we go. Small sticks. And then we need regular sticks. Uh, I wonder if there's a shortcut to go right to the stick part of the bag. By the way, we do have a weight limit here. So, all right. So we need these regular sticks. So it looks like there's logs, sticks, and small sticks. Okay. Oh, we need one more. Come on. The hell is it? I'm going to pick that up. I know I have to anyway. Really? I don't have any more sticks, huh? Okay. Well, let's see if we can find one out here. Hello? Sticks? No sticks? Gosh darn it. I, I shouldn't have to cut down another tree. I think I... I don't know. Might have lost sticks or something somewhere. There we go. Okay. And long stick. They're not exactly logs like in the forest, but, you know. Oh crap, I shouldn't have cut that up. Oh well. We only need one more. There we go. Let me go brag to my wife about how I set up a fire. Well, looks like everything's ready. Mia, can you bring me a lighter? Um, remember when I mentioned we seemed to be lacking some equipment? <sighs> Don't tell me. Yeah, we have no fire. Uh, not a single lighter, nor box of matches. Uh, we, we ordered both. Did you check everywhere? I did. You need to do it the old-fashioned way. Okay. Well, well, not the best start of the expedition. Well, it'll teach me the uh, necessary things I need, you know, considering I'm not kind of a lighter. Um, hand drill. Okay, so we need to check our book. And the hand drill, um, small stick, and this uh, thing, I guess. Is that it? Is that it, really? Can I craft it? Um, so let's, let's see if we can craft this. Um, small stick, craft, and where's that board? There it is. There we go. Making ourselves a hand drill, people. I need to find something dry. Oh, okay. Um, find tinder. Uh, tools required. Find something dry, such as a bird's nest, fiber, or some dry leaves. Those don't look like dry leaves. Is that a dry leaf? That looks like a dry leaf. But I don't think it is. Oh, here's all my sticks. Okay. Alright, so we, I, I think, uh, those dry leaves? See, these look like dry leaves, but I think there's a bird's nest over here. That's what I used last time. Oh, I can sprint now, so that's nice. Where is that darn bird's nest? It's over here? Hello, bird's nest. Where are you? Yeah, I don't know. I don't look like I'm making, using any dry leaves. I'm not seeing the bird's nest. I know there's one around here somewhere. Because that's, that's what I found last time. It was definitely down here. It was pretty close. It was definitely close. Alright, let's see what we got. Uh, over here? Is that it? Is this it? Yep, there it is. Okay. Use the fire starting tool and the tinder to make a fire. Alright. Alright, well how do we do that? Um, did I actually make the... Oh, is that that's the hand drill. Okay, so it's the, this is in the fire starting part of my backpack. Um, how do I use it? Okay. Use. There we go. Alright. Um... Drag kindling from the backpack. Oh, yeah, the kindling. Okay, so here's the bird's nest. Okay. And you put it right there. You see the little dot right there? There we go. And he'll do it automatically. You don't have to, like, click the button, like, in uh, Stranded Deep. It is taking stamina, though. That's interesting. 
All right, so now we have now it's right here in my hands. We need, just need to put this in the fire. There we go, and we oh, lit the Mia. fire. The fire is burning. Coming, give me a minute. I have made fire. Bow down to me. How do you do it? Hmm? What? You seem so calm. I am calm. I don't know how to explain it, but strangely, it feels safer here than there. Oh, I don't know. Jaguars, venomous spiders, and snakes. Let's not forget the scorpions. A <laughs> mere ant's bite hurts like hell. I am well aware of that. But still, we have a chance to achieve something. Make a difference. At home, all we could have done was be helpless and wait. I prefer the wilderness. Okay. Makes sense to me. Um, you know what's weird, guys? You know what I've noticed about the beginning of this game? At the beginning with the boat, when she was in the uh, bedroom and I couldn't go in there, or maybe I could. I, I saw something that said I could go in there, but I don't, I don't know if you actually can. And right here, you notice her... She's been, like, kind of obscured from me, Her the, the visuals of her, in the whole beginning. That's kind of weird, right? That can't be... Um, all right, so what would I say? Uh, yeah, that sounds good. I'll miss you. And I'll be worried. But I'll do some work in the meantime. <laughs> when we meet, I should be able to catch a fish and start a fire with a single spear strike. You say you'll be afraid. And yet you are in high spirits. That's what I like about you. No less. They're I'm so a bit sweet. Worried about you meeting the Yabawaka. Yabawaka. Everything okay, I want to try and remember that. I need to go Yabawaka. alone. Yabawaka. We already agreed that's Yabawaka. the only way. Besides, they Yabawaka. don't seem to like. Yabawaka. They don't seem to like outsiders. They shot arrows at a military chopper. Well, if that's Hard the best they can do, them. you got nothing Since to worry you about. Your book, they've been under siege by the media, scientists, doctors. Okay, so I wrote a book about them? The World Health Alliance established a medical camp and probably performed research violating the tribe's taboos. But I will convince them. I have to. I wonder what she has to convince them of. This really feels like a... I could, I could concoct a story that makes this a sequel to The Forest. Like this is the guy from the forest. He wrote a book after he after he got got away. Is I don't know. Maybe I can't, but I don't know. Maybe I could. We'll see. All right, search the tent. Okay, I am searching the tent. What what do we have here? I'm at village. Call me with radio when you wake up. P.S. There's a little gift for you. Love Mia. Aw, she's so sweet. By the way, if you do read, it just comes up like this. Aw, let me see it. Hello. Hello. Mia? Hey, sleepyhead. Finally up? Um, no. I'm sleeping. You left already? Why didn't you wake me up? You know I hate farewells. Well, I was hoping we'd have breakfast together. You surprised me. That's all. <laughs> Admit it. You thought I forgot your birthday, didn't you? Well, I didn't. Oh boy. So my wife going to talk to some tribe by herself. I'm worried about her. It's my birthday. She gives me a watch. This woman's in trouble, right? I mean, this woman's in trouble. By the way, I don't care where you're going. It's my birthday. Wake me up for breakfast, man. Like, probably gonna be the last time I'm gonna see it for a while, Mia. Just saying. Ooh, that's a fancy schmancy watch. Look at that. Huh? Exactly what I wanted. It even has solar batteries. And a macro element scanner. Check yourself to see if you're not missing any. We've been here only a few days, but stress can wear you out. Tell me about it. Okay, hold D to look at your, uh, hold F to look at your watch. There you go. So um, let me see if I can remember this. We're gonna we're gonna find out in a minute, but let me see if I can remember this. The yellow is carbohydrates. The red is protein and the green is fats let's see if i got it all right find something to eat all right so we got some uh, protein bars over here mm, they look scrumptious okay so i'm guessing i should eat that uh, let's see expand eat craft drop does it say what they have in them it doesn't say what they have in them i thought it said what they have in them or something craft what am i gonna craft at that I don't know. All right, whatever. Let's just eat it. Oh, there we go. Carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. I remembered. 
Now, sh am I supposed to eat more? I think I'm supposed to eat more. I would save those, though. I would like. Why would I waste that food at those levels? Yeah, this is. I, I wouldn't do that normally, but that's what the game wants me to do. Well rested and well fed. Perfect. And keep it that way. We need that brain of yours working at peak performance. I'll try to take good care of it. Have you found them yet? See. Si. And as expected, they don't want to talk. They behave as if I am not here. But they haven't driven you away. That's a good sign. You need to convince them that you're one of them. Mm-hmm. Agreed. That seems to be the right course of action. I will sleep on the edge of the village and only eat what I can find. Undergrowth. Understory. Canopy layer. Emergent layer. Hmm. Okay. It's interesting. Just be careful. Please. I will. But if I am to live like them, we can't be talking so often. You're right. They're suspicious of technology. If anything goes wrong, I'll leave the village and get you on the radio. Otherwise, you can assume everything is just fine and there is no need to worry. <sighs> All right. <sighs> Let's focus on the goal. I'll be focusing on indexing new plant species. I think I saw a few new specimen around here. You know, as a husband, this would I wouldn't like this. <laughs> I really wouldn't like this. All right, let's check the uh, the cork board. Good old cork board. Skull painted warriors. By the way, just ignore this picture right here because it's pretty, I don't know, disturbing. And that's that's putting it mildly. Um, mysterious painted warriors appeared yesterday on the riverbank as we floated by. Who are they? Our friends. The yeah, I forgot to say the name already. Yeah, yeah, Kubica. Um, seem to be afraid to talk to them. Well, I would, I would be too. I would be too. Tobacco plant leaves are great at healing venom bites. Okay, so that's for poison. Tobacco leaves are for poison, huh? That's interesting. But what else can it heal? Uh, my nicotine addiction? Um, I saw this plant, uh, on the north side of camp after climbing on a rock. There is plenty. It's a good start. All right. Very good. Yaku Yakubaka. Uh, living in the deep interior of the Amazon, the Kubica is one of about 80 lost tribes. Uh, due to a fear of um, due, due, due to a fear of the modern and cruel world, they mostly remain isolated. Will will they welcome us? No, they're not going to welcome you. Uh, they are the key and the only lead as to why we're here. Man, they're really keeping me in suspense with this why we're here stuff. Uh, Sh Shabono. It's been three years since we saw them last. They often react with fear to the unknown. It's crazy, but we really need their help. Our entire plan depends on it. Okay. Is this like... What, what is that with Shibono? Is that like an area of... Is, that, is this the tribe we were just talking about? Or... Hunters. This is their land. Their heritage um, as it has been for thousands of years. Everyone who comes here needs to respect this. Okay. I will respect it. Now, he said Jaguar really weird. I'm not sure if I say it wrong, or, but he said... Jaguar or something like that. I call them Jaguars. Like Jag W A R. By the way, um, my high school was the Jaguar was our was our I don't know animal or whatever. Um, the biggest cat in the in the Americas. Really, I didn't know that. Um, stronger jaws than a lion. Wow, I didn't know that either. Uh, they can bite straight through the skull of their prey. Um, hunts both in the forest and in the water. I thought cats don't like water. Nowhere is so oh God. <laughs> And then, they, and then they give you a picture. And by the way, that doesn't look like a video game picture. That looks real. But maybe it's just a really good pic, like video game picture. A tribal hunter met with a jaguar tonight. He's lucky to be alive. It looks nasty. What do we got here? Rainforest mammals. Harmless. Behind all the danger, there's still so much beauty within this jungle. The cabra, uh, armadillo, and tapper? Taper? Many small mammals are a food source for the indigenous locals. Rich in proteins and fats, they are a great complement to the fruits and vegetables. Well, that is just wonderful. All right, hold F to look at my watch. You scroll with the mouse wheel. There we go. When I was playing this yesterday, I was trying to figure out how to like uh, switch to the compass because it tells me to go north, but I couldn't, I couldn't figure out how to do the compass. And you know what's funny? I went north. That's the way I actually went. So 
no problems there. All right, let's take a look around uh, our immediate area, and then I think I'm going to call this a video, guys, because we are just about at the end. Let's see if there's anything else we can uh, look through in here. This is, has a durability, right? I think that's a durability. By the way, I'm getting, like, mach machete skill or something. That's pretty cool. I don't know where my skills are, but... Um, sleep, map, notebook with skills being here. Uh... Uh, it's long leaves are ideal for crafting bandages. The molarina. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Oh, that's those big leaves. Is that what these are over here? These? Come on. I don't know. There's big leaves around here somewhere. I wonder if that's what these are for. Where'd they go? They're over here. Yeah, I wonder if that's what these are for. Now, there's a banana leaves. I don't think that's what that is. Let's take a look. Leaf. Yeah, it kind of looks like it. It's this one right here, right? So let's see what we get from this. Come on. Oh, it's weird. I cut it up. I think the leaves just went right in my uh, bag. Uh, which one is it? This one. No, this one. Yeah, okay. So I got the... Oh, here we go. Mullerina leaves. Cool. For making bandages. That's awesome. Let's look through the rest of our uh, little book here. I don't want to start going north because I don't have enough time to finish up the video. So... Um, Macro elements effects reduces maximum condition. Reduces maximum condition. Known treatment. Nuts are the best source of fats. Fruits are the best source of carbs. Meat is the best source of protein. Always drink safer boiled water. Drink unsafe water may lead to parasitic infections. We got our fist to increase damage. We got axes, increased damage, reduces stamina usage. We got blades, increases damage, reduces stamina usage. And spears. It looks like we could throw the spears as well. Um, we got the fire. No entries, no entries, no entries. All right, guys. Um, what do you guys think about this uh, about this game? I mean, so far, my initial reaction is I like the fact that you get a tutorial. I really hope it opens up, though. I want a true open world game once I get out of this tutorial. But I like the storyline because it's voice acted. Um, there's a little bit of reading, but not too much. The voice acting with the reading is really cool. Game looks gorgeous. Um, the crafting thing seems really cool. I'm really digging this game. And it's, it's so far, it's absolutely beautiful. It is early access, guys. So if you are going to buy it, just keep in mind, it is early access. If you don't want to deal with early access, you know, maybe don't buy it. All right. It is coming out tomorrow. Again, the 29th on Steam. If you ended up enjoying this video and you want to see more of this, please, please, please uncage that like button. It really helps in the YouTube algorithm. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. And you know what, guys? Subscriptions don't mean much on YouTube these days. Why don't you hit the notification bell, too, so you don't miss any of my green hell videos. <laughs> All right, guys. I am going to call this one here. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.